You see, there was a glad tidings given to Mary about Jesus Christ and it was not fulfilled at all. To read Luke chapter 1, <clears throat> verse number 20 onwards. Same, just like Quran, Mary came, sorry, Angel Gabriel came to Mary and said, Mary, fear not. God is going to give you a glad tiding. And his, your son, and his name shall be called Jesus, or his name shall be called, or he is Jesus. You see, when this angel was giving the news, he did not say word Jesus, because Jesus is angelic, angelicized form or Latinized form of the word Isa. First of all, he did not say Jesus. This is what you are, the slave of the translator, translations of the translation of the translation. But you know, I'm not going to take an exception on that because these are your prerogatives. These are your privileges. You want to manipulate the things in the word of God. You want to say that we are sharpening the language, but you are mystifying it. It's your game. It's your game, which you have been playing for thousands of years. Whatever suits you put the word, Whatever does not suit the church, remove the word under the name of apocrypha, under the name of dubious books, confusion. These all games have been played or have been, has been playing on till now and I don't know how long it's going to be played. So, angel said that he, called, he shall be called Jesus, the son of the most high. You see this expression son of man or son of the most high or son of God. I don't want to go into that because these you find so many places these expression. It is not a literal sense. It is metaphorically because if you do not believe the Luke chapter 3 in the genealogy of Jesus Christ. It is written at the last point Adam the son of God and Adam had no father and no mother. So according to your criterion he is greater or leave these discussions out. And prophecy, listen to these words. And from you know, till here, every Christian, these hot gospel, Bible thumpers, these evangelists born again, they will quote till here, Son of the Most High. Now continue the verse, continue the verse. The verse continues. And he will take his father's throne, David's throne, and he will rule over the house of Jacob forever. I am asking Christians, who was ruling on David's throne when Jesus was born? Pontius Pilate, a pagan, a Greek pagan, he was interrogating Jesus instead of Jesus would interrogate him according to your scriptures. And he asked the question, there is a trial going on, midnight trial, Pontius Pilate. Then he roared and back to Pontius Pilate. And what was all going on? When Jews brought him towards his their own Sanhedrin, they say he's claiming to be the son of God. But when they brought to Pilate, and you know, Pilate's wife saw a dream that no harm should come to this just man. I'm asking Christians, who showed him the dream? Who showed her the dream? The wife of Pontius Pilate, Satan or God? that no harm should come to this just man. This is very clear that he was the mightiest messenger of God. And his Pontius Pilate saw the right dream. But anyways, Christians, you know, when you don't want, when you want to ignore something, you don't want to talk about that. Anyways, Pontius Pilate was also reluctant to punish him. He said that you are putting your blood on an innocent man on my hands and you release Barabbas. And then they put this guy, uh, Jesus Christ, into this picture, which I'm not going into that. But when the question interrogation was done by Pilate, he said that you claim that you are the king of the Jews, king of the Jews. This is a charge now, not son of God, because God, son of God is a normal thing amongst the Greeks and the Grecian, Tars, this Hercules, Apollo, this Polo, and this, uh, what you call, Atos of Phrygia, Dionysus of Greece. There are many gods used. They don't care about that. So, you see, Jesus said, this is, I, I, did I say this? These are the people who said that. He said, my kingdom is not of this world. What angel said to Mary? That he will take his father's throne, David's throne, and the David's throne was on this earth. It was not in the heavens. 
and he shall reign over the house of Jacob forever. Bani Israel, children of Israel, the children of Ishaq, the children of Yaqub, Jacob. He will rule over the children of Jacob forever. You know, those children of Jacob, the family of Judah, Judah, they killed him on the cross. It is all damn squib. I want you to justify this prophecy. You attack on Quran, I said which prophecy fulfilled? Jesus said my kingdom is not of this world and the prophecy was given. He will take his father's throne, David's throne which was on the earth. Instead of David's throne, Pontius Pilate was sitting and he never got this throne yet. Those enemy of Jews, sorry, those enemy of Jesus Christ, according to you who put them on, him on the cross, who put him on the cross, they are still ruling in Israel and enjoying and calling Jesus bastard. Astaghfirullah. On their television programs, they are enjoying in Israel, in Tel Aviv, and you people still waiting for Jesus Christ. And according to them, they got rid of him and you took good redemption, redemption out of it. How come? Explain this prophecy. Instead of preaching in the church and getting donations and, and all this money and been filling up your bank accounts, just tell them why this prophecy didn't fulfill. And this is only one. This is only one. I can quote you many prophecies <clears throat> from the Bible related to Jesus Christ, which is all, to be, uh, all found to be a lie. So, which throne of David was given to Jesus Christ? And which house of Jacob he ruled forever? Do you know what's the meaning of forever in English? Forever means the day the thing happened till Yom al Qiyamah. Who is ruling right now in Israel? Who? The one who to say that we got rid of that man, that man of Nazareth. And they call him Bin Pandera. They call him that the Pandera Roman soldier. He married, uh, sorry, he raped Maryam alayhi salam, astaghfirullah, Mary. He raped Mary and produced the bastard children, inverted commas. Nakla kufar kufar nabashat. This is what you have your exhibits and documents and you attack on us, you call us Antichrist. We Muslims, you can never repay us what we did to you. Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu forced us, Quran forced us to believe that Mary, the opposition of Arabs, Jewess, brought a child without any male intervention. You can never repay us, otherwise we could have ridiculed so easily. And you laugh on us, the Muslims, the laugh is on you. Judge it not that you not be judged under what judgment? You're judging others, you hypocrites. Why you see the sliver in your brother's eye? First remove the beam from your own eye, then see the sliver in your brother's eye. Hebrews chapter 7 verse, num, verse number 1, Jesus Christ quotation. You hypocrites, <coughs> you need to worry about your own scriptures, then you talk about Islam. So, I'm repeating again how this prophecy is being fulfilled please come forward and let us know we would like to you know listen we would like to listen through your holy spirit power that what happened with you know you know the clever christian i remember i just discussed this one of the and it had to be a pakistani had to be a pakistani you know he said to me no no actually when he will come back then this will happen does the bible say that Read what it is written, don't interpret because <coughs> if you want to interpret your Bible, then you need to provide the authentic source. Did the disciple of Jesus, you know, made this explanation, interpretation? Did Jesus interpret like we have the Hadith, the book of Hadith, interpreted, interpreted by Prophet Muhammad? Allah says in Surah Nahal chapter 16 verse 44 O Muhammad peace be upon you we have revealed this book unto thee and it is your job to explain to the rest of the world so Quran is there which is the word of God and Hadith the explanation of the Quran does this case apply to you? no so why would I believe your interpretation? every Christian has his Holy Spirit and all interpretations are varied so who will give me the authenticity of your interpretation sir? <clears throat> you cannot make like this. You need the rock interpretation or concrete evidence to prove your case. So no throne was given to Jesus. Pontius Pilate the pagan was there and he was attacking and punishing Jesus. 
and the second thing no ruling of house of jacob that house of jacob according to christian he they crucified him on the cross they got rid of him later on christianity got redemption out of it and the last point you know this throne of david where it is now in westminster abbey the royal parliament church of england <clears throat> and how it came about 70 ad titus the roman emperor destroyed the second temple and he took this throne of david brought to scotland then to ireland then to scotland then to england and it is there under the coronation this queen elizabeth or whoever you know this coronation happened in royal parliament it's under the throne of the queen or the king this is how it is then <laughs> this throne of david is still there jews are looking some right opportunity to bring that and bring to jerusalem back and the covenant the ark of the covenant the belongings and the remnants of moses and our own alayhi salam alayhi salatu salam peace be upon them all this is how good your documents and your history are that's all for today i hope these christians you see my main purpose to educate and tell let you know that see these are the things written by hands it's a lie you know that now you cannot prove it you see when god almighty said throne of david was given who is speaking the truth holy ghost jesus christ or god almighty or luke who is speaking the truth let us know inshallah and we are happy to listen wa akhiru da'wana anil hamdulillahi rabbil alamin